Today, I'll show you how to make windows look cleaner with animated backgrounds, custom shortcuts, and all without sacrificing functionality. First off, you will have the light theme, of course. Go to Windows, Settings, the Customization, Themes, and there you have a bunch of dark themes. We will now fix the awful zoom that Windows has if you haven't fixed it already. Windows, Settings, <coughs> System, Screen, and here you will say Zoom. And I recommend 150 for prettiness and this one for compatibility. Some apps will get just way too big with this one. So in the Steam Deck, the keyboard won't show always. You, we can fix that by startup, settings, language and region, typing, touch uh, keyboard, show the touch keyboard. It will say never or when there's none. We want to click on always. So just to show how this keyboard thing works, whenever you touch, this has to be with your fingers. It won't sh uh, show up with the mouse. You click here and you can write stuff. Like I said, it doesn't work with the mouse. So um, something that we help so the UI doesn't look uh, bloated is unpin things on the taskbar. For example, this, on pin, on pin, on pin. We do this with basically everything. And if there's something important like Steam, keep it there. So it will be like our quick launch um, app. Your desktop probably has too many items in it. For example, the weather, the search bar, the keyboard selection and the hour that we won't need because we will um, use another type of clock. So what you want to do with this is right click that uh, taskbar, settings, and you will have some right off the bat. You hide this one, this goes out, this goes out. And to get rid of OneDrive, you go here to other um, taskbar items or icons. Mm -hmm. You will find it here and you and uh, get rid of it. Now, for the hour, it's a little bit different. It's kind of the same. It's actually pretty easy. Right click and hour and date. Show hour and date in the taskbar. This goes out. The hardest one of this is this one, <laughs> the keyboard selection. For this, you go to regional language typing, advanced uh, keyboard options, and check this. And if this doesn't go away, options, this will be here, and you put it on hidden. Apply, accept, and it should go away. Now, you can also get rid of this. I don't recommend it because you will be using this sometimes, but if you don't like it, it's the same. You go here and other system icons and you uh, turn it off from here. The default size of the mouse of Windows, it's kind of annoying in a small screen like the Steam Deck. So what we want to do is Windows, Settings, we search Mouse and Size of the Mouse. And with this slider, you can change the size. The Windows default mouse is fine, but we can have another pointer that looks way better. I will leave the link in the description. Go download that. And, and once you have that, uh, search for it. It should be right here. Right click it, extract everything or unzip everything. Once you have it, choose between these two. And through that, we will go to settings, mouse, mouse settings, additional mouse settings, and pointers. Now, you will need to go here and search for your folder. 
Google Disk. Yes. You should have it there here as well if you haven't moved it. And now it this is most the most tedious part of the whole process, I think. This part is tedious but pretty easy. You just have to search what uh, every file matches to. And yeah, it gets it's annoying but it should look pretty good. So once we select every pointer, we will click apply and accept. And now we have a brand new pointer. Now be careful. Don't uh, you don't have to change the size. If you end up changing the size, it will go away. Like you see here, I lost my mouse because I changed the size. Okay, so now we want to customize the entire taskbar. We'll go to Edge because you will have this by default, of course, any browser works. Now you will search for WinHub. You go there, download it. I already have it, but it's just to show. Go here, click OK. Standard installation. We click Yes. Next, next, and it will start installing. Okay, so once it's done, this will say launch WinHug. Uh, you will mark this end or finish. So here in WinHug, you will, here you should see the taskbar styler. If you don't, go here and search for taskbar, hake and icon size and taskbar styler. We need both. Go to details and install. And it will take a while. Now, once it's done, you go to settings. And I just read real quick my settings on my Steam Deck. In icon size, we set it to 50. In height, we will set it to 120. And finally, 80. Now, you can click outside of press enter. And then we put save settings. Now it's way bigger. I swear this looks way better on the Steam Deck. Second one is this one, Taskbar Styler. We put install. Okay, so once it's done, go to settings and theme. You can actually choose whatever you like, but I personally use this one, Squirrel. Uh, Squirrel. So. Save settings. Now it looks like this. So now we have our taskbar, but it's in the center. If we want to move it to the left, we right click here, taskbar settings, taskbar behavior, taskbar alignment, and from zero we click left, and it goes to the left side, clicking Windows 10. Now for shortcuts, we need handheld companion. I will leave the link in the description. It's the same as before. You install it, open it, next, 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 finish. And if it asks you to restart, you just do it right away. Don't don't click on I'll do it later. After this program is installed, so after uh, it, uh, it actually take takes away, away your controls, controls. You won't be able to use the mouse anymore. Um, this so will show up the dashboard. Touch screen, click on this click little, on the arrow. little arrow. And double click uh, handle this is why we need it. Icon. Double click here. Once you're here, and this go to will the open bottom up. of the screen. And you will now, find desktop layer. What, we, uh, what you um, want to do is go to the bottom of this it on, it and will click be off enable by desktop default. layer. By default, this will be like this. But yeah, this is pretty easy. You just R2 in the desktop layout and you press the hotkey you want. In my case, R4. So Whenever I I am dragging my mouse, I press this this button and I can't anymore because it is now a controller. Like you see, a Steam opens up because it's now a controller. And I press again and it becomes desktop. So for more complex actions like the startup menu, 
and the quick access menu we have to use the screen keyboard or on screen keyboard here so this is kind of a little bit tedious and hard but this will be empty okay so to set up this we create new hotkey it will be empty here here it is empty hotkey I don't know why it's here but for this this is quick access we use quick access menu command type keystroke and to define the hotkey we of course need the on screen keyboard so press to define hotkey output um, this is why I said it's it has this timing you need to time it right now Windows plus A will open the quick Windows access menu it's the same process for the Steam um, key it is just Windows the one I have here is to minimize apps like this one for example you press L4 and it goes away but it isn't closed so this one, this shortcut is Windows plus M whenever you press it an app will minimize now you have more commands by default for example you create a new hotkey here it is the command types you have three and here are options by default like for example force application application shutdown which is pretty useful when something isn't working properly now after you set up this these uh, shortcuts you will have a, uh, the quick access and the startup menu now we have the shortcuts but now we need uh, to make use of them you see um, if you have this taskbar we just installed and you go to any app you will notice uh, a pretty ugly space here it's pretty noticeable on steam deck because there's absolutely nothing so to fix that we right click on the taskbar settings behavior and hide taskbar now every time we use the windows command it will show up you can also use your mouse to put it on the bottom of the screen and it will show up for the wallpaper you have the free and the paid method the paid method i show you right away it's here in steam you show for wallpaper engine this is like five dollars three to five i don't know but yeah, this is the easiest method, but I'll show you the free method right now. For the free method, you go to Microsoft Store. And you say for Lively. You have Lively Wallpaper. Here we have the app. You'll notice it has the start with Windows setting. And this is pretty easy. You just click here. And then you have an interactive wallpaper. It is quite sad that it doesn't have many wallpapers, but I mean the ones that it does have, they look pretty good. Okay, so now if you want to set up your uh, own wallpaper, you have to go to the app. You put plus, select a file. You go to whenever you have it. I have it in downloads. You wait for it to load and done. Now, the audio can be quite annoying so if you don't like the audio like me you go here in settings and volume you can put this in zero and now it doesn't make any sound now we got a custom taskbar a new pointer and an animated wallpaper so now you'll see it still looks kinda off because we have so much stuff here so we right click or desktop see or show and show I desktop icons and we get rid of everything so it will look way cleaner like this okay so don't get scared by this because you can open your file explorer and there's something called desktop here 
and everything's here. You'll notice we still have no clock and it looks really empty. So what we want is we go to the link, I'll put the third link. If this is screen styler, you click here and it will take you to Mediafire. You download this and open it. And then it's all yes, yes, install. It will eventually ask you to install Rainmeter. You need that, so you click yes. And once you have all of that, you will open it. Now, once you open this, it will ask you a nickname. You press skip. And then to create a new layout, you create, you click here. It should be here, but I have already made one. So we click default. Yes. And there you should get this. And you can play around with the settings. You can have a clock here. You have widgets. You have many widgets. And for example, I like this layout so once i'm done with everything you click here in this check mark continue install and here you have the widgets in this you have more clocks visualizer for music for example you have colors for them so like i said this is completely free you don't need to pay anything to use this app and after you're done, be sure to come here, settings, startup, and check this. This is pretty much everything, but there's something else you can add if you want. This is called taskbar groups. There is also power toys I just found out. It gives you this macOS-like uh, search bar. But I don't use that, so I'll just leave the idea here. Actually, huge shout out to this guy. I really got half of the ideas from here. So that will be pretty much everything you need for this cute UI. I hope it was useful. Because I know the usual UI can be quite boring. So leave a like if you enjoyed it. Bye.